going guys welcome to the channel in the episode we're going to do some paying and things just don't go to plan um a lot of you guys might think that i'm some sort of professional but i'm not i'm just a 25 year old doing things the best that they possibly can with um on a pretty tight budget mind you um and yeah like i said sometimes things just don't go to plan especially when it comes to painting things and uh yeah, you're going to find out all about it in this episode. Today we're going to be giving the bonnet a bit of a sand, a bit of a 500 on the sanding sponge and then an 800 wet rub. That's for the HQ ute that's behind me. Uh, I've got the color already there for that one, so we're going to be getting into painting that one soon, like the exterior, because yeah, it's mostly just been jammed. Um, inside the bonnet's the last thing I need to do before I start painting the outsides of the panel, so that's very exciting because that's been a pretty extensive build. But yeah, anyway, we'll... Um, We'll get stuck into the bonnet and if you guys want to see any of the other videos because i have made some previously of the ute uh, a lot of it's mostly just prep work um botting the doors on getting the doors to open and shut on the latches again that sort of thing if you guys want to see that just let me know and i'll uh might do some extra editing on them because they are my earlier videos and i'll uh i'll throw those up i've already given it a little bit of a 500 as you can see so so I've started scuffing up and around here. Um, I had a few little chips just on the sides of the bonnet, so I rubbed those out and I ended up just brushing a little bit of primer on them. Um, but yeah, still got most of this to rub. Um, got a rub inside here, inside here. Most of the frame's been done apart from at the back and where the hinges and stuff go. But um, yeah, that's basically all been done in 500. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, no rub throughs or anything like that and I can get into the 800 wet rub and straight on with the colour. So. Alright, so the bonnet's all been prepped down with 500. I think I'm not going to wet rub this one because I've got a few little cut throughs and I don't really feel like repriming those spots and then going on with the wet rub. Got the wet on wet primer in the gun. Obviously the water in the shed's drying out a little bit. So I took my time. Made sure all of this was prep sold all nice. Um, yeah, just getting ready to put on the wet on wet primer and then I'll let that sit for a little bit. Probably clean out my gun. Um, I'll shut the fan down. I'll wet the floor down again before I start putting the base coat on. But um, yeah, it's coming up pretty well, I reckon so far. Obviously nothing's been sprayed on it just yet, it's just been um, 500 down, grey scotch brighted, prep sold a few times, masked, prep sold again, um, and yeah, like I said, got the rest of the shed pretty well ready, so <clears throat> yeah, it's getting there, slightly. Sometimes these things happen. Just got a little bit of dryness in the in the uh, <clears throat> in the wet on wet primer. So what I've got here is I've just got a microfiber cloth. As you can see, I've already done a little bit. That's why there's a bit of the grey on there. So we'll find a nice clean spot again. I'm just going to rub him over just over the dry spots. Probably end up going over the whole panel because there is a little. Just about in every single one of these little corners, there's a little bit of something going on, but see, that's nice and smooth there, so you can't hear nothing. But back here, you can just, you can just get a little bit of something, so we'll give them a little bit more of a, a harder one. Well, things didn't really quite go to plan yesterday. I um, 
couldn't quite get the base coat to lay down quite flat enough for uh, for me to clear over it. So I ended up just leaving it overnight. Figured it was sort of getting too late in the day. It's about four o'clock when that when this happened. So end of daylight savings. Um, you know the sun's going to start going down pretty soon. Tracking bugs, that sort of thing. Uh, kind of just figured the next day I'd come out in the morning, give it an 800, flatten it all off. A good scuff up, put on a few more coats of base coat and then clear it. Not ideal, but it is what it is, I suppose. You just have to work with it. Um, anyway, I mean, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, it didn't quite go down. I mean, there's still a bit of crap out here and there, but. All right, so that's probably one of the better spots. Is what it is. Yeah. Bit of moisture from the roof. <clears throat> yes. Oh well. I'll uh, prep this up and get a few more coats of base coat on it, I suppose. Okay. Round two. Bonnet's all been prepped up. Gave that a good 800. Light scotch bright. Um, Basically cleaned it over, blown it over a whole bunch of times. Um, I'll go once over again with just the microfiber cloth, a fresh one, um, just before I put any more base coat on. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed it uh, lays down pretty smooth this time. Now that there's really no orange peel or anything like that left in the, uh, in the panel, so. Yes. Oh well, like I said, fingers crossed. First coat is on, got my torch here, just thought I'd show you guys, I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera, but see how there's basically no orange peel in that, so the base coat is almost dead flat, that's sort of what I was going for, obviously the first time I put a coat on this, but just didn't quite happen, that's alright, main thing is as long as you can fix your mistakes, Oh, what's the saying? No mistakes, just happy little accidents. I did something a little bit different as well. I started painting from this end. Um, whereas before I started on over there, I started from this end and I think that helped keep the wet edge um, sort of where it needed to be rather than trying to fight on itself and then painting this way and then the overspray coming back towards myself. <clears throat> gotta remember I haven't got a whole lot of painting experience in um, in this setup so I'm still very much so learning the environment clear is in the gun sheds all wetted out on the floor base coats all done ready to rock and roll so the bonnet's all cleared doesn't look too bad but there is some imperfections in it there's some uh some pretty big bits of crap in uh, in these sections through here. I ended up getting a couple little runs through here, either side. Hoping I'm going to be able to polish those out. Started to just run. Oh, just there, that one. But I'm hopeful with a mini polisher. Um, I should be able to get those out. But... Yeah, you know, all in all, it's not too bad. I mean, for the amount of headache it gave me, it's um, it's come up all right.